Today, I want to answer the question, does following a ketogenic diet pose any harm long term or are there any drawbacks that you should be aware of? For those unfamiliar with the ketogenic diet, it is one where the individual consumes most of their calories from fat sources. So think uh, meats, cheeses, other dairy products, avocados, nuts and seeds. I was doing some research and I came across a really fascinating study. It was a six month randomized controlled trial involving 217 healthy adults. And they looked at how dietary patterns differing in the amount of carbohydrates and fat would affect inflammatory markers in the body as well as changes in the gut microbiome. What they found was the group that ate the highest amount of fat defined as 40% of their total calories in a given day, which is actually still a little bit lower than what you would expect in a ketogenic diet, but they had a reduced production of a short chain fatty acid known as butyrate. Butyrate is an example of a postbiotic. So if you recall, postbiotics are substances produced by the gut microbes after they ferment on things like fiber as well as resistant starch. Butyrate has a ton of health benefits including helping us absorb certain minerals, reducing our risk for colon cancer, as well as increasing our insulin sensitivity. What was also alarming was the individuals following the higher fat diet also had higher levels of inflammatory blood markers, including prostaglandins, uh, leukotrienes, as well as C-reactive protein. Interestingly enough, all the individuals ate the same amount of fiber, only the amount of fat differed. The authors hypothesized that the changes in gut microbiome along with the blood markers has to do with the types of fat eaten and decrease in resistant starch intake. At the end of the day, you as an individual have to decide what's the best diet for you to consume right now at this life stage. But I hope you found this information helpful and until next time, relish every bite. In the next video, I'll be talking all things resistant starch. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll find out when I post it. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up.